an irreplaceable American treasure is under attack, a treasure that existed long before America was founded. Petroglyphs are ancient writings carved into stone and left by ancient civilizations. They tell the stories of people who survived here thousands of years before European settlers arrived, but their own survival is now being threatened. Chris Van Cleve explains. And you can see there's an anthro here. Steve Acerson Steve. walks the West searching for rock down. art, so ancient stone here. etchings known as petroglyphs depicting man's early history in North America, and they are increasingly endangered by modern man. We have multiple rock art boulders up on this hillside that have been damaged from bullets impacts, and the images are actually being lost on these boulders. <laughs> Here in Utah, carvings made 4,000 years ago by the now extinct Fremont tribe fell victim to target practice. We probably had five or six that are totally gone now. If we can't connect to the land and what it's telling us, we are a lost people. Eileen Quintana, a member of the Navajo Nation, works with Acerson. So this whole hillside has been exposed to the gunfire. Acerson reported the damage to the Bureau of Land Management, and his group, the Utah Rock Art Association, positioned boulders to shield the petroglyphs. That way, when they shoot up here, the bullets will hit the clay or the dummy rock and protect the rock art image. Here's an owl or a quail figure here. But his small group can't be everywhere. 150 miles away in Moab, Utah, profanity defaced a carving celebrating the birth of a child 3,000 years ago. Nearby, a rock climber inserted bolts into another petroglyph. The climber claims he mistook a thousand-year-old carving for modern-day graffiti. Some of it is outright vandalism, some of it is profiteering, but some of it is just stupidity and ignorance. Arizona Congressman Raul Grijalva wants to increase penalties for anyone damaging a petroglyph. So what can Congress do? Congress can begin with resources to strengthen the preservation arm that looks at history and looks at cultural resources and sacred sites. But there's not even a reliable count of the number of petroglyphs in this country, and most that have been found are in desolate areas, making them hard to police. We do have some problem areas where once you know one person carves their name, um, someone will come by and see that, and they think that that's an acceptable practice. Or that Angela Richmond is a ranger in Arches National Park. We see areas where you just get a bunch of names kind of piled on top of each other. And unfortunately, some of those are over, you know, prehistoric rock art or markings, you know, things that are, you know, over a thousand years old. But criminal charges for their destruction are rare. Of six documented incidents this year, one resulted in charges that were filed and efforts in Congress to better protect petroglyphs have failed in three recent attempts. Why do you think there's been an issue in getting some of this through Congress, getting lands protected. I mean, if we were talking about dinosaur fossils, you'd probably have an easier time protecting the land. There's profit involved. There's extraction, whether it is gas, natural gas, oil in some areas, mining in others. And, and there is a very powerful profit motive that drives those decisions. The lichen and the... And the As Steve natural. Acerson continues his search for new rock art, he knows what it will take to protect the legacy of people's long gone. So it's going to have to be a cultural shift to where people realize that stuff needs to be protected and saved because when it's lost, it's just like tearing a page out of a history book. And potentially wiping away the last traces of those who came before us. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Chris Van Cleve in Washington. They're beautiful, but you got to wonder, like, what compels someone to go vandalize? Right. Well, I like, like the, you said ignorance. And I think yeah. with a story like this, now you know. So it's like, what do you do with that information? Right. Education will develop that appreciation, one would hope, to try and preserve these sites. Because, frankly, it could see how some folks might happen upon that and not, and not realize think about it. and not even right. think about what they're doing. If you want to write your name, I'll go to a sketch pad or something. Yeah. You don't have to right. do it <laughs> at Arches National yeah. Park. There's that. There's right? that. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, maybe more people will know now and have yeah. a better appreciation.